joining us this morning. We are here with the brand new Bear Ram uh, DXR systems. The VR DXR is what it is. Now, this system was originally designed to work with the Copo Supercharged engine as well as the NMCA DR525 engine program. Now, in the DR5, on the, in the NMCA program, it requires you to keep the mass air sensor, mass airflow sensor in the same location. Um, it's also it's specified it has to be a certain distance. Okay. Now, real, this, real quick, the Veran was told us this system was designed to accelerate the air velocity under the curve to maximize torque and power for maximum acceleration. Uh, the added ram air effect intercools, the intake manifold, plenum wall, adding about a, I think they said about a half pound of mat pressure um, at speeds of like 35 miles an hour. Basically showing huge improvements on your zero to 60 times and 60 foot launch times, maximize the power at shift recovery as well. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of start opening up the kit, kind of show you exactly uh, what comes to the box. Now you were looking at this the first time we're looking at it as well. We have not opened this box. We received it from them the other day. Uh, they were gracious enough to send us this uh, basically at a no cost deal so we could open it up, show it to you guys, kind of give you an idea of what, what you're gonna receive here. So let's, uh, so this is their intake tube. And I'm gonna have to say it's it's it is pretty thick. It's a pretty thick tube right here. Now the tube um, is basically what they call a reverse venturi. Um, it's supposed to allow zero drag. And if you look inside this tube, I don't know if you can get a little closer. I want to thank Ricardo guys for uh, helping me uh, with this this morning. Um, it's really smooth. Um, it's um, it's thick. It's smooth. It uh, it curves in nice. So. They've done a really nice job on this thing. It's not like it's thin plastic. It's not something I guess something you would see on a, a different aftermarket air induction. So that's the tube. Um, let's go ahead and grab the air box itself. So this is the air box. Basically seals right to the front. Um, of the engine compartment, pretty nice as well. It's thick as well. It's not thin. Uh, it's an ABS. Looks like ABS uh, unit here. Um, I think one of the things they talked about on this kit was that um, insulated air box with engine heat. It uses the OEM uh, washer motor. Oh, it's like it's got a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm reading some notes as I'm going along here. What's cool about this is this is a special made filter for these guys here. And if you look at it, it's actually on like a panel. It's on a panel. Look how long it is. Now they say that they with this this um this filter will support it to a thousand horsepower. So this this kit will also work on your 2012 to 2015 as well as the ZL1. It's a pretty solid kit. Solid piece right there. What else we got here? We have okay, so the kid is the kid is big. So um, they give you a replacement washer bottle as well. That's it right there. So they they actually incorporate a washer tank, a new washer tank to um, since this other air since the air box is so big. And that's uh, basically that's where you're gonna stick your stock motor back in place off your factory bottle. Obviously, you're going to probably end up. You're going to reuse your factory cap as well off your windshield washer tank. What else we got here? All right, this should be it here. This is going to be the. It's going to be all the tubes and hardware and everything you need to install this kit. So you can have your clamps going to have the two tubes obviously the um, the tube that's going to come off the valve cover is going to go here um, that's obviously going to be for the windshield washer uh, motor some brackets this is probably going to be the tube that's going to go from here over to your valve cover passenger valve cover 
some of the hardware that comes along. With it. it looks like it's going to be fairly easy to install. Obviously, the hardest part is probably going to be changing out the watch model on this thing. So that's probably going to be the hardest part. You got your bear ramp sticker. Give you a couple of tricks. So they give you the option of either putting their sticker on it or not. That's completely up to you. And then obviously we have the full instructions here as well. So basically comes with everything you need. Gives you a full layout on everything you're going to need here. Pretty simple deal. Um, so this kit basically um, showed you the filter, insulated map sensor, housing here. They did insulate it. That's what nobody else does. If you look at it, what's an insulator around the um, around the mass air sensor? They do it though. And the reason they do that is basically it's a fire resistant material to help block excessive heat soak around the sensor is why they do that. That's pretty much everything right here. Now, they data logged this kit using the EFI Live to verify changes in the map pressure and the map flow rates. Um, timing curves and air fuel ratios, etc. This kit has over 700 log files in two years ranging from 100 mile cruises to quarter mile passes. They also say with this kit that you're going to basically you're going to get about three tenths or three mile uh, uh, an hour improvement in the quarter mile. So they've done their work on this kit. They've done the research. They've done the testing. Um, and what you'll find is very they do. They are actually real engineers when it comes to this stuff. They flow the box. They float everybody else's boxes. So if they say it's pretty much going to make power, it should make power. Now their claim is that it's going to produce anywhere from 25 to 40 horsepower. Um, that's a that's a big that's a big claim. So uh, I think you you. You know, on, then obviously that's on a stock car. That's not modified tuned or anything like that. So it, the claims might be there now. What they base a lot of their stuff off is not really dyno numbers, but it's flow numbers. And what I mean by flow numbers is they're actually talking about going down the track. They actually strap meters and stuff to the cars just to make sure that they test everything properly. Like I said, true engineers put a lot of time and effort into this kit. It's a solid kit, man. It's nice, thick. We're coming back to questions. Nope. No. Well, if you got any questions about this, y'all can always email us at uh, sales at fasttechperformance.com or you can give us a call at 188-FASTTECH-PERFORMANCE, uh, at Fast Tech, I'm sorry. And the other thing is we have this listed on the website as, as well. They're ready to go. So if you want to, you can place your order for them and be one of the first people to try them out. We're also going to put this on a car, probably somebody local here and get some test numbers on it as well, probably here within like the next week or so. So if you got any questions, let us know. We'd be more than happy to respond back to you guys. Other than that, I want to thank you for joining us, and y'all have a great day.